I'm Alan Patton. I'm a professor of uh, politics at Princeton University in the United States. Um, I've been uh, thinking uh, lately about the idea of majority rights. Uh, populists like to argue uh, that the traditional majority um, cultures that they belong to are under threat from um, economic and demographic uh, pressures uh, that they're facing. Um, and they suggest that um, one of the goals of populism is to uh, stand up to these pressures and to try to defend uh, the prerogatives of the traditional uh, cultures that, uh, they, uh, that they belong to. Um, I'm a normative political theorist. Um, I'm interested in uh, what uh, the principles of liberal democracy look like. And uh, one of the questions that I'm interested in is uh, whether the idea of majority cultural rights makes, uh, makes sense. So do, do majorities in fact, um, uh, are they in fact entitled to try to protect and uh, defend their cultures as populists, uh, populists uh, call for? Um, much of the thinking about the question of cultural preservation um, has actually occurred in the theory and practice of multiculturalism, but multicultural um, thinkers have been mostly interested in the question of minority rights rather than the question of uh, majority rights. So really part of the puzzle is um, can we um, extrapolate uh, and apply uh, ideas that were developed in the sphere of multiculturalism to thinking about these questions of majority uh, cultural, uh, cultural protection. Um, a lot of people think that that would be a kind of misuse and abuse of multicultural ideas. It avoids some of the nuances of multiculturalism. Um, and in fact, there are dangerous tendencies where even thinkers on the far right uh, try to appropriate um, some of the language and terminology and concepts of, uh, of multiculturalism. So I think we have to be very careful in this, uh, in this um, area. Um, and uh, at the same time, I think it would be a mistake just to dismiss some of these ideas. So I try to tread carefully and think about the possible um, foundations of majority uh, rights claims. Um, and I argue that, uh, in fact, there are three different cases that one could um, uh, distinguish in which majority rights claims seem plausible. Uh, one is when the majority's culture uh, does not enjoy equal recognition uh, because of some historical injustice. Uh, a second is when the majority faces collective action problems in trying to preserve uh, their culture. And the third is in areas where we think that a political community has a certain degree of discretion in what it's going to do. And I think in those kinds of situations, it's permissible to count the protection of the majority culture as a reason for uh, acting in one way rather than in another. And I guess the takeaway uh, that I um, ta take from this analysis is that there is a, a very um, uh, slender case for majority rights under very specific social circumstances, uh, but it's not a case that kind of generalizes uh, very much, and so there are also very significant limits on uh, majority rights.